Hey everyone, I'm Captain Forest Falcon. Welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke. So we're here on Route 12. Uh, we're just beginning to go south. Oh yeah, I guess we can also get past you now. Is there anyone that we needed to talk to in one of these places? Okay, we got a TM though from the little girl. It's a move called Return. If you treat your Pokemon good, it will return your love by working its hardest in battle. Uh, what TM was that, actually, though, in this case? Because it is random. Soft Boiled. Heals the user up to... by up to half its full HP. It can be used to heal an ally. Okay, that is an interesting move to pick up. Like, I don't know who we would want to use it on, but... Also, it says up to half. So does that mean that if you're, it'll always do at least half? Or like, like as in if you're at full health, um, you know what I mean? Is that as long as you're like below half health, it'll recover 50% HP. Otherwise it'll do just whatever's left to get you to full health. Scribe Jessica. Ah uh, yes, I see. Just taking a break from writing, are you? Okay, side on just Go ahead, Octazooka. I, I don't think any of these guys are too concerning for us. And I'll have to remember to change up a bit uh, once we get to like a new area. Because we got our full team here is pretty much balanced out. So we need to catch up some of our, our other Pokemon a bit. Just in case when the inevitable happens and something bad might happen. Although who knows? I've been pretty lucky on the times that I've screwed up here, for the most part. So maybe, maybe things will go well. Especially since we seem to have good types for everything we're handling. And look at that, Ami! You went from being the lowest level on our team to already being up there. You're now tied with Big for highest. Well, Big and Rai, like everyone is getting up there. Let's, let's keep Patrick up as well. Okay, so it is Onyx, so we'll just use Muddy Water. Bam! All done. <laughs> just tore through that health like it was nothing. And that's it! <laughs> just a small fry. I mean, I guess, like... Onyx kind of is, like, fish-like if you think about it. He could be, like, a sea dragon type thing if it weren't for the fact that he was rock and would just sink to the bottom. I'm, actually, it would be weird. There's no way it, that this would be possible, right, but... Uh... Just use Hydro Pump. Let's try and power through this one. There's no way that, uh, you know, uh... An Onyx would be able to to learn um, Surf, right? Oh wow, you... Alright, so this is a new recording session now, and uh, I noticed last time a bit of... Uh, that I had messed up the settings a bit with the quality, so I'm sorry if that was noticeable at all, although it did help with getting through that uh, tower without having to make any major edits there. I will say that, because it was giving problems before. Anyway, I also went back and healed and made a few adjustments on the team, just so we can give some different Pokemon a bit of experience. Uh, let's see, am I still leading off with... I'm still leading off with Sidon for the time being, though. Also, the Slickitung is actually getting up there in levels. Oh my gosh, it survived. <laughs> of course it did. Of course, uh, just use Octazooka. Man, wish I had something a bit more reliable to hit with with you, Sidon. Okay, but that was the only Pokemon that they had. And I guess you got to be... <laughs> I guess you get to be good at what you like. Well, you beat me at Pokemon, but you can't top me at fishing. Yeah, I I could probably do some fishing uh, again once I sort of get the better rods. So if I'm not getting areas in some of these places, uh, it's because I'm 
It's because I've decided that I think I will wait because uh, I don't want too many low Pokemon on my team. Low level Pokemon. Ooh, Gyarados. Uh, you know what? Sidon can probably handle this. In fact, let's try bouncing. <laughs> oh yeah, cool. That's not gonna do anything. Oh nice, and he's paralyzed. Oh cool, cool. Right, <laughs> we also have the water absorb thing. Yeah, just keep bouncing then. Like, what's he gonna do? Just keep trying to heal me? Also, he doesn't have anything that's, like, uh, water absorbed, does he? I don't think so, but I'll use a Giga Drain just in case, and that should finish him. It might not have finished him, but we did get the crit, so it's fine. And Sidon now moves up to level 33, and now I need to remember to put the experience share on someone. Uh... Yeah, so I brought K back, and I also brought a Pona on the team. Well, I need to remember to give uh, the experience share. I'm not going to send her out right now, because that would be a bad idea. Uh, especially against an Omanite. So, oh, not Constrict. I wanted to use, like, Vice Grip. Also, that's not very effective either. Right, the one problem with Kay is that she doesn't really have the best moves for dealing with this sort of thing. Okay, we'll throw out Patrick. We need all our water types to be the same level. Just keep in mind he... Well, he isn't a water type, he is still a water type. Basically, he's like our second big, <laughs> effectively. I mean, hey, he knows water and he's a psychic type, so they're almost the same. Um, uh, just go Muddy Water. This probably won't actually do that much now, I think. Actually, no, I forgot. I forgot Omanite is actually affected by that because of his typing. Anyway, that gets K up to level 31. Nidorino. We'll give Opponent a chance here. Give Opponent a chance. Okay, Opponent, it's just a Nidorino. It's way lower than you. I don't want to use that, do I? That That's that move that, like, cuts your health in half, isn't it? To raise your attack by a lot? Yeah, see, so the, the only move that opponent really has that's useful is overheat, so... Yeah, we'll basically use her five times, and then that's going to be it for her. Oh, gosh dang it. Not the poison point! Moltres! Uh, okay, we'll change. Uh, Patrick, you're up again. Legend, a legend versus another legend. <laughs> it's only fitting. Besides, this Moltres is probably low level. I'm even gonna just use a Water Pulse. Like, worst comes to worst, it doesn't kill it, and there's a chance it might even confuse it. Nope, it's dead. Because Patrick is just that powerful. <laughs> Almost another level. It's not easy. Yeah, I know. It's it's so hard to face uh, against the ultimate water psychic type, Patrick Star. <laughs> okay, um, we have... I'm, I'm gonna use some of these antidotes. We've probably saved up a bunch of money at this point. So I, I'll just need to buy some more at the next shop. Okay, further on... Uh, ooh, is this a double fight? Hey, Jess, if we win, I'll marry you. Okay, I guess this is like one and one. No, it is a double fight. Oh no. It's old couple, Emma and May. <laughs> yeah, you can see they are incredibly old right now. Charizard and Doug Trio. Okay, Sidon and Sakura. I don't know if I would pick this matchup, but sure, we'll roll with it. Uh, yeah, so Sidon is just going to Hydro Pump. Uh... Charizard and uh, Sakura. Superpower Doug Trio. And hopefully we can just take them out in one go. That's one down. 
that's interesting because I think like the last matchup we had against uh, like a doubles battle, it was also a similar case where uh, the Pokemon were both ones that we were already familiar with. <laughs> like, or were on the team. And here we have another pair that are both on our team. Okay, so they get it, some experience. Oh, but why? Give me the money. Jess, you silly, you ruined this. Oh, Gia, forgive me my love. And now we finally have found one of you. <laughs> we finally come across a Snorlax where we're gonna have to use the Poke Flute. Now, I'm not sure, does this, how does this work in terms of, uh, well, for one thing, we're still on the same route, right? Well, I guess I'm going to use the Poke Flute now. Uh, yep. Play the Poke Flute. Now that's a catchy tune. Oh wait, I guess I have to actually use it on him, not from the inventory. Now, is it a Snorlax or is it random? Because we've seen in some cases we have uh, some Pokemon that are like story-based that seem to be default. It's a Flareon, so it is random. Okay, well, in that case, uh, we're going to try and catch this one. Oh. Okay, so water is not going to be very effective, but something like Giga Drain might be all right to use. Just to knock it down a little bit. Okay, that's not very effective, but that's fine. Fire Spin. Okay, let me switch it up. Let's switch to K. Yeah, I have to use K because I didn't bring Vivian, so we don't have the easy way to, you know, sort of reduce its uh, accuracy. Okay, start flashing. We just want to reduce that accuracy down a bit more. It's already missing with Fire Spin. Okay, that might actually hurt a little bit if I let that get me. Oh, great, that missed. Because Eruption is the one that's, like, health-based. So maybe I should just whittle its health down a little bit uh, before we get around to it using Eruption and doing some serious damage. Oh, there's a crit. Okay, Fire Spin finally hit. The thing is, is that's going to do damage over time. And I think we're trapped. Is that right? We should hopefully be out of it, though, by the time we... Uh, we should hopefully be out of it by the time we actually get around. Also, if we... We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Disable? No! Okay, we're free of fire spin anyway. Um, let's just try switching to big. Because then uh, we can try putting it to sleep, try catching it a little bit. And then maybe we could switch back to... Uh, Hey, if it's if we're not catching it and do a bit more damage because we've already reduced its health a bit we've already uh, got its accuracy decreased so now we just go to bag and I don't want to use the great balls yet let's let's start off with the pokeball see how that goes we'll probably need to use a great ball one yeah yeah I figured it's very unlikely that using just a regular Pokeball will be able to catch it at that health, I think. Just because it's evolved. I feel like if it's unevolved, it's uh, more likely that you can get it to work. But with a Great Ball... No! So close. But yeah, with Great Ball, I feel it's better to use like Great Balls, Ultra Balls, when you're trying to catch like uh, some more evolved Pokemon. Like, come on, it was so... Okay, if it wakes... You know what, screw it, it's still asleep. Let's switch back to K, and we'll try and constrict it again. Get its health down a little bit more. Wow, it's staying asleep. <laughs> okay, use constrict again. This will probably wake it up. Yeah. Okay, K is going to be trapped a little bit, taking some more fire damage. It shouldn't be a problem, because 
Eruption, e even if it hits, I don't think it's going to do that much because we reduced its health so low. Okay, I'm a bit concerned to use like anything else at this point because we've kept this battle going for so long that... Screw it, just try one Great Ball right now. Like, it's not asleep or anything, but... Ugh. Fine. Oh no, we're trapped again. Gosh dang it. I should have moved out when I had the chance. Uh, let's just use Flash. Gosh dang it. It's funny, Fire Spin is hitting more consistently, and yet I'm sure that, uh, like, Eruption must be something that is, uh, like, 100%? I'm assuming it's, like, Water Spout. We're not... oh, gosh dang it, we're still trapped. Now I gotta waste a potion. We do have a potion, right? Yeah, we, we got enough. The one should be fine. Thank you for missing. Sheesh. Okay. Back to big. Okay, it's finally back asleep again. Big only had to go and miss two more times for that. Let's try a regular Pokeball again. <laughs> Just switch them up every now and again. There we go. Done! Okay! So we've got in our third Eevee at this point, because we got we got Eevee, who evolved into Boat, or who evolved into Electrode. We got Vaporeon, who is Sidon, who's already on our team. Give a nickname to the captured Flareon. Uh, yes. Okay, so this time, uh, name-wise, I'm gonna go with, uh, the name of a character from our last, uh, playthrough, Riviera. Uh, you can be named after the fire-burning beauty, Sierra, and, you know, just incinerate our foes for us. Okay, so that is our third Eevee now. Will we get the whole set before this is done? Uh, hopefully. That would be cool. If we could also get Jolteon, just have everyone. Dishes and plates are lined up neatly. What do you have for me? A fishing girl's younger brother. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without... Tilly, do you like to fish? Of course. Grant, I like your style. I think we could be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. We got the super rod. Okay, is that the best fishing rod? So am I now set for doing fishing? If you catch a big magic carp with that rod, I want to see it. As much as I love to fish, I also love seeing gigantic magic carp. Is that random, or is it just that he... Like, it can't, it can't be. Like, Magikarp are literally everywhere in, the, in this game, normally. Like, what kind of challenge is that? Really? A Magikarp? But, I mean, it might be a challenge in this playthrough. Okay. Electricity is my specialty. I don't know a thing about Pokemon of the Sea, though. And this is... Oh, he's a writer. As you can see, he's brainstorming ideas. He sent out a Gloom, who is probably not the best matchup for Sidon. Um, I'm going to chance at Epona. Epona, let's give you a shot. You can do this. Use Roleplay. Oh, if the copy of Epona's Runaway ability. Well, that's not going to be very helpful here, you know. Like, it would have been concerning if I'd had someone like, uh, if I'd switched to someone like Ami or, uh, or Barbara. Because don't they have moves that, like, power up their fire moves? Like, if you, like, they absorb fire? You know what, Epona, you can, you can keep going. Like, I guess we're just using overheat for the time being. Also, these guys have gotten up in level. Like, this one's actually on par with us. Oh, wait, I probably... It was probably a mistake to uh, keep Epona out, because her special attack is getting nerfed every time we're using that. 
That's why we did so little damage, keeping her out. But that's enough to get her to 30! Only 10 more levels, and we can find out what she's gonna grow into. Unplugged! Water conducts electricity, so you should zap Z Pokemon. Z Pokemon, bleh. No, I should have brought Big! Or not Big, I should have brought Mr. Krabs! Uh, wait, is there anyone that I could maybe teach it to? That I would be willing to? Nope, not a single person on this team can use Cut. Well, you know what? We'll probably be coming back to this area anyway at some point, because I, after I learn Surf. Okay, I just gave the experience share to Epona, so I don't have to necessarily switch to her. And she can start growing in levels and catch up with everyone else. Okay, it's a Parasect. Bug type? I'm not sure if that's going to be super effective, so I, I think I'll let Sidon handle this. Almost enough to kill it. You're not weak to Silverwind, right? Yeah, you're fine. Like, I mean, it's not super effective, but it is going to take it down. Okay, opponent gets some experience, and now it's... Oh, it's a Magikarp. Well... Pona, I, I probably shouldn't even bother. Let, let's see, what does Magikarp know? Let's try tickling it. <laughs> I, I'm just curious. Magikarp, okay, what do you got for me? Oh, it knows water. Oh. It's no, it's no way it's that strong though, right? No, this is fine. If you die to a Magikarp opponent, I'll never forgive you. I don't care how resistant it could be to that. <laughs> you, yeah, I don't care how strong that dang Magikarp was. You were not going to lose there. <laughs> Lost it! What, Magikarp? I catch them all the time, sure, but boy are they wimpy. Yeah, so he catches so many Magikarp that even in the randomizer, he still has Magikarp on hand. <laughs> Route 13! I found Carbos in a cave once while I was spelunking. I don't think we've seen, uh, like, we've only seen, like, two HP ups so far. We haven't seen that many, uh, of those type of items yet. Uh, Sidon, you could probably handle this. Um, uh, let's see, poison type, right? Yeah, it's damaged normally by uh, water type, so we're fine. Okay, I'm a chop. Uh, sure, we'll swap it up. Throw K out there. Actually, no, that's a mistake. K will get her butt kicked by this Machop, so no, no. Get out of there, K. <laughs> I mean, you get some experience at least, but let's switch to big. And no. Why does it know Mega Drain, of all things? <laughs> I mean, it's not going to be super effective, but... <laughs> gosh dang it. Like, that's the one thing you have to be careful with, is that... you Sometimes you think you're safe, but... You'll have Pokemon that just know moves that don't make any sense, and you just have to deal with it. Sandshrew... Yeah, we'll change it up. Uh... I want I really want to also get some experience to K here, so K, hopefully you can handle this. I mean it's three levels lower than you, it should be fine. Okay, good. It missed, and then you can just do that again, and it's dead. Perfect. And with that, K is nowhere near a level, but gets the experience and the kill. All right, my bird Pokemon want to battle you. Biker Dudley, he sent out his, uh, the Hypno, one of the well-known flightless birds that are out there. Just Hydro Pump it. Wow, that might not have killed it if we didn't get the crit. Which is a nice change. Also, Sidon is now level 34. 
and a Blastoise. Yeah, we'll change for that. Um, who could probably handle a Blastoise? I mean, I want to give Kay some experience, but you know what? I might as well throw, uh, throw Patrick at it. I mean, he only knows water moves, so it's probably not the best idea, but... You know what'll work? A crab hammer, of course. Oh no, this is a mistake. Like, Patrick is uh, damaged by water moves, which is one of the disadvantages. <laughs> oh wow, a crit. Yeah, you say that's not very effective. I tend to disagree. And now Patrick's kind of trapped in this battle, but uh, he can handle it. He's a tough fighter. Let's do that again. Like, the reason I'm using that move is just because it could uh, potentially confuse it. Confuse it? Uh, let's use Muddy Water. Gosh dang it. This is why... Every time, this is why we need to get a... The move Surf. Come on, Patrick. You just need to hit once and it's down. Good. Okay, a bit of a tough one, but... Wow, Patrick didn't get the level up. Flamethrower! Oh, heck... What? Uh, stop learning Flamethrower? No. That was almost a disaster. Yes! Yes! Get rid of this stupid... Get rid of this stupid belly drum move. Like, tickle's fine, protect is fine. We don't need this. Like, but this? <laughs> yes, please. Give me flamethrower. Okay, opponent now has a consistent fire move. A consistent fire move that also won't nerf the heck out of her stats. Oh yeah, Pidgey and Pidgeotto. That's what that combo was, clearly. Okay, um... Okay, so we, uh, we've we started going along this route. We're almost, uh, we're getting closer to Fuchsia City. I think I'm going to take a break here. We managed to catch ourselves yet another Eevee, this time a Flareon. And we've made progress through some of these trainers. So that's going to do it. Thank you all so much for watching. May you soar like the Amazing Falcon Dior and have a wonderful day. Peace out.